Here's a voicemail that came in. Our voicemail number is a two one nine two David P. A voicemail about mask orders. Let's take a listen to it. Hey, David. Um, I wanted to see what your thoughts were with mandatory mask orders. Uh well, I can give you my thoughts on them. I believe that they are illegitimate because you own your body. You get to decide what to wear on it. Government can't force you to wear anything. If government can force you to wear something against your will, it means that they own your body, which, of course, is a violation of basic human dignity. general um a few cities have started enacting them and i was curious if we should see that at the state level given that a lot of cities are having a hard time enforcing their mask mandates why do you think it would be any more effective on a statewide level and what kind of punishments should be levied assuming people violated them i will give this guy credit for at the very least taking into account the punishment side of it because a lot of authoritarians don't look at this side of what they advocate for but in essence what you're arguing basically is that people should have force initiated against them people should be put in harm's way for not wearing something that you think they should be wearing ironic considering that one of the biggest selling points for these mask mandates is saving lives thanks okay so first let's talk about the legal basis there is a legal basis for mask orders, no question about it. Actually, very much question about it. It's not exactly clear from where, if anywhere, these powers, not just behind the mask order, but behind the lockdowns too, come from. I did a little bit of sleuthing on this issue. I looked through the Maryland state constitution, doesn't say anything about requiring masks. Looked through statute passed by the legislature, never said anything about giving Hogan the right to order masks. And I looked through case law, judicial review, again, nothing. And there's a good chance if you do the same type of research for your state, look through the Constitution, statutory law, and law established through court precedent, chances are you'll also turn up empty-handed. Now, I'm no Harvard Law graduate or ace attorney, but I think it would be fairly safe to assume that the power and authority behind what these state governors are doing was more or less pulled out of their asses. Remember that whole states' rights, power of the states thing that a lot of Republicans like to talk about? This falls under that. So yes, it is true that Republicans typically favor state authority over federal authority, but that doesn't necessarily mean they think that states should have carte blanche to do whatever the hell they want. Also, this fails to address the libertarian criticism of mask mandates, and that is that no level of government, state, local, federal, municipal, whatever, should have the ability to force you to wear something against your will. A, a federal nationwide mask order from the federal government would actually be legally dubious? Yeah, that's actually true because of the 10th Amendment. Also, someone should probably fill Biden in on this because he actually has a federal mask mandate as part of his campaign. State and local governments have pretty broad authority. Well, yes, state and local governments do typically have broader authority than the Fed, but that doesn't mean their authority is absolute. They still have to abide by the Constitution just like the Fed. As a matter of fact, in many respects, states are even more restricted than the federal government because not only do they have to abide by the federal Constitution, but there's an additional state Constitution that they usually also have to abide by particularly during a public health emergency? Well, I mean, even during a public emergency, they're still bound to follow the Constitution. As a matter of fact, most state constitutions do specifically lay out the additional powers they have in an emergency. There's usually a very narrow and specific range of things they get to do in an emergency. Like here in Maryland, there's five things listed under the emergency clause, and none of them include forcing businesses to shut down or forcing people to wear masks. Emergency powers aren't some kind of carte blanche that the progressives like to make it out to be. Uh, so I believe that the legal case for a statewide or citywide mask order is not legally problematic. So if that's what you believe, Mr. Pacman, can you point to me an example of anywhere, anywhere in law, it can be constitutional, statutory, judicial, any piece of law that gives a state governor the right to order masks? I mentioned in a previous video that when I was younger I wanted to be a lawyer, so I'm somewhat savvy when it comes to formulating legal arguments inside of businesses businesses remember republicans wanted this stuff you know you gotta love how progressives who've always been about regulations and anti-discrimination and this and that all of the sudden advocate for the right of a business owner to run their business as they see fit if the way they see fit coincides with their political agenda businesses have broad authority within their businesses 
And they can also say, you've got to wear a mask to be in my business. Well, I do wholeheartedly respect the property rights of business owners and always put on a mask when requested inside a private business. I feel David is ignoring a little bit of an elephant in the room here, and that is the reason a lot of these businesses are requiring masks inside has nothing to do with the typical Republican, libertarian type argument that business owners should be free to run their business however they want. As a matter of fact, it involves the circumvention of that argument. Because in many cases, it's not the business owner mandating these masks, it's the government. The business owner is simply just forced to implement this rule. This isn't an enforcement of property rights, but rather a circumvention of property rights. I've used this same analogy in previous videos, but imagine that I own a piece of property, and I say, you're not allowed on my property unless you wear a mask. That's legitimate, because my property, my rules. Now suppose that I say, okay, you're not allowed on Jason's property unless you wear a mask, and Jason is obligated to enforce that, which is essentially what the government is doing. Well, obviously that's not legitimate. That's Jason's property. I have no right to make rules for it, and I certainly have no right to put an obligation onto him to enforce rules that I create for his property. If these powers aren't legitimate for me, where did the government get them? But I feel like it's the wrong focus. So do I. You seem to be focused on whether or not these mask orders are legal. That is, whether or not the government has the legal right to force you to wear masks. Where my focus is more on the moral side of things, is it fair for government to force you to wear masks? See, the question you're asking is, does the government have the right to force people to wear masks? And my question is, should the government have the right to force people to wear masks? The reality is, I don't think this should come down to legality. Right, it should come down to morality. See, all legal means is that something is okay on paper. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's morally fair. For example, the Holocaust is legal. Hitler wasn't actually violating any of Germany's laws by gathering up all the Jewish people and gassing them. However, what he was doing was still a violation of people's personal autonomy and was immoral. Now, I fully understand that gathering up people, gassing them, forcing them to live in labor camps, etc. is not in any way comparable to forcing people to wear a mask. However, it's a similar principle at issue, the dichotomy between what's okay on paper and what's okay under morality. It comes down to a legal question because so many people just don't want to wear a mask. Now the rest of you write a 15 page paper about the history of German automobiles in German. So if they don't want to wear them, then why force them? What gives you the moral right to dictate what somebody else puts on their own body? How would you like it if somebody held you up at gunpoint and made you wear something you didn't want to? You know, it would be just like if a group of thugs came up to me, kidnapped me, uh, put me in a sexy dragon costume, uh, put a bomb on my ankle and said they'll detonate it if I remove the costume. You know, it would be ridiculous, like if that happened. Uh, hold on a second, I'm going to get a drink of water. We know they're very, very effective. Okay, how effective the masks are at stopping the spread of the virus isn't really relevant. As I've discussed in previous videos, even if the masks are ultimately effective, there still are reasons not to make them mandatory. The biggest one being that making them mandatory will create psychological resentment towards masks because people will see them as something being imposed onto them, a threat to their liberty, and that will make people not want to wear them. What this should come down to is doing the right thing because we want to fix this and we want to take care of the people around us, and we want to take care of our communities. So if that's what you believe, then why create animosity toward masks by making them mandatory? Why not encourage people to wear masks voluntarily using the data, using the arguments, by selling people on how masks will protect them and those around them? Because I'm telling you right now, all forcing people to wear masks is going to do is make them not want to wear them. The opposite of what you seem to want to accomplish. So if you make this a legal argument, I believe that st cities and states are very, very uh, uh, comfortably able to legally put in place mask orders. And if you make it a moral argument, you'll see that no level of government owns your body. Only you own your body, and therefore only you have the right to decide what goes on it. Forcing people to wear masks against their will is an initiation of force. You're dictating how other people live at the barrel of a gun, and that's immoral. I hate that it's even a question. I actually love that it's a question. I'm glad that people are willing to criticize authority and not just accept it on face value. If the government was like, you have to wear masks everywhere or else, and people were just like, yeah, sure, okay, that's the reason to be concerned. We should be doing it because it's just the right thing to do. Uh, speaking of the right thing to do, if any of you folks are feeling particularly generous, uh, feel free to head on over to my Patreon page. Uh, look and upgrade some of my equipment here, my mic, maybe my recording software. You know, uh, maybe add some animations and do fun things like that. Uh, you folks want to head on over to my Patreon page. Link will be in the description. You'll see all the uh, wonderful benefits you'll get from being a patron. 
and support me on my fight for your freedom because nobody should be forced to wear something they don't want to against their will. Hey fellas, uh, can I take this off now? No? Okay.